Hello and welcome to a video on the quadratic formula brought to you by the Answer Series. You will remember from a previous video that we looked at where the quadratic formula came from and it comes from completing the square. Let me just go through it very briefly again. The first thing we did was we divided through by the coefficient of x squared. So I divide by a with every term and I take the constant to the other side. Then remember with completing the square we take half the coefficient of x and half of b over a is b over 2a. So what I do is I add b over 2a squared to both sides. These three terms then formed a perfect square. I collected those terms and wrote them as one fraction take the square root on both sides, don't forget the plus minus, and then you take this term across to the other side and you write that as one fraction. And that is a formula that you need to be able to use extensively because we use it all over the place in your mathematics syllabus. But that's where the formula comes from. So let's have a look at three examples. We are going to use the quadratic formula and we're going to solve for x correct to two decimal places. I want you to pause the video, I want you to try these and then we'll look at them together. In the first example your a is 3, b is minus 4 and c is minus 2. I substitute it into the quadratic formula, so x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. And then we use a calculator and you get your two answers. Make sure that you can use your calculator and you do get the correct two answers. In the second example, the first thing you've got to do is you've got to put the quadratic into standard form. So you've got to take the minus 1 across to the other side and make it equal to 0. Your a value is minus 5, b is 1, the coefficient of x, and c is the constant, in other words 1. Substitute it into your quadratic formula, use your calculator and get the two answers. In the third example, the first thing I do is I get rid of the fraction. So I multiply by the common denominator, which is x. The other thing I do is I take this term across to the other side. So I set up my quadratic equation in standard form. My a value is 4, b is 1, and c is minus 7. Use those values, substitute into the quadratic formula, Use your calculator and you get your two answers. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by the Answer Series. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from the Answer Series, your key to exam success.